Hey everyone, there is something brand new to Echo that I cannot wait to share with you. Did you know that you can now receive notifications from Echo via email or text? You have to set this up. Setting up your notifications allows you to be more connected to what's happening in your courses as well as the Echo community. Let's explore the many options you have when setting up your notifications. From your homepage, click on your profile. From the drop-down menu, select Settings. Let's start with Notification Preferences. Here, you will enter your email address as well as a phone number where you would like your notifications to be sent. If you only want to use your email, that's totally fine. Just enter your email. If you'd only like to use your phone number, that's fine too. Just enter your phone number. If you'd like to be notified in both places, enter both. Here I have my email, my phone number, and my mobile carrier. After entering your notification preferences, let's take a look at the community notifications over here. Here you can receive notifications when someone joins a team you own. A team is just another word for a group that maybe you have created in the community. You can receive notifications if someone creates a conversation in a group you either own or are a part of. You can receive a notification if somebody replies or adds to an existing conversation in your group. If somebody replies to a message you have sent, you can receive a notification. Or if someone copies the content that you have shared in the community. You can decide if you want these notifications sent to your cell phone, which is SMS, your email, but, or both. You can also decide if you want to receive these notifications on a daily basis or a weekly basis. Because I want to know if someone joins a group I have created so I can properly welcome them. I'm going to select both phone and email and daily when someone creates or when somebody joins a group that I own. I want to make sure that I am fully notified if somebody joins my team. Because I'm always looking for ways to collaborate with others across the network, I'm also going to select that I be notified by phone email on a daily basis when someone creates a conversation in a group I either own or am a part of. They might be looking for help. They might have an awesome resource to share. Either way, I don't want to miss it, so I'm going to make sure I am fully notified and don't miss a thing. I will also select all options to be notified if someone posts on one of my conversations. I'm always looking for feedback or asking questions in my group. I want to make sure I'm there for my people and able to answer questions for them at all times. I will also select, to, also select to be notified by phone, email, and daily when someone replies to one of my messages. A message in the community is a reply to a conversation that you may or may not own but have participated in. If I leave a message on the conversation and someone replies, I want to receive a notification so I can see what they have said in response to my message. This is like a comment on Facebook. When you comment on a post, you'll receive a notification when somebody replies. This is how messages work on a conversation within a community group. Also, I want to receive a notification if somebody copies my content or links to it. I want to know if people are using the resources I've shared. This helps me know if what I've shared is meaningful, meaningful, or maybe it will help me to know that there are more things I should upload, maybe that are similar or that are different. Next, let's take a look at the teacher notifications. Here you can receive notifications if a student submits something, if a student has a grade that drops below passing, or if a student's enrollment has changed in your course. As a teacher, I want to be notified of all these things, but since I have so many students, I may only want to be notified by email so I don't get an overload of messages to my phone. If I would like to be notified by both phone and email, I may want to choose weekly notifications so I'm not overwhelmed on a daily basis. Because my students will be submitting daily, I would like to receive a weekly notification by email only when students submit things. Because students are going to be submitting so many things, if I select it daily, I might become overwhelmed. So I can look at this on a weekly basis just to check to make sure students are submitting or see students that aren't submitting. Because my students' grades are very important to me, I want to be notified by phone and email daily if a student drops below passing. I will also want to be notified daily 
by both phone and email if a student's enrollment changes. If a student's enrollment becomes inactive, I need to know ASAP so I can change them back to active so they can still participate in my course. Now let's take a look at the master course notifications. Here you can decide to receive notifications if your course settings are changed, if an activity is changed, or if an activity is deleted from the master course. Because all of these items will greatly affect my course, I will want to receive notifications for all of these things by both phone and email at all times. Now my notifications are all set up. I will now come to the upper right hand corner of my screen and select save. If at any time you are not pleased with your notifications or you feel as though you are getting too many or not enough, you can come back to the settings screen and adjust them accordingly. This is how you set up your notifications in Echo.